We just saw some of the best makeup artists in the business create illusions on members of our Kids View audience. But you know, makeup isn't the only way to create fantasy. In fact, some of the greatest illusions to the eyes have been created using the art of magic. This is the Magic Castle. It's located right in the heart of Hollywood. It's a place that's known throughout the world for showcasing some of the best acts and illusions, or what's known here as magic. Magic, when you say a magician, no, it's not to be feared. It's, it's like a play. It's a person pretending to be able to do things that somebody else can't do. It's a puzzle. Once a month, 30 to 40 teenagers from around the Southland come here to participate in the castle's junior magic program. Would you please welcome the magic of Josh Sadowski. 20 years ago, these stages were just reserved for adult magicians. But today, they're here to help foster the magical talents of some of the best young performers. This Magic Castle program has helped me to uh, learn how to perform and to hone on my magic skills. It's very hard to get in this program, and I don't say that to discourage kids. I say that to encourage them to work hard if they're seriously interested. Most of the kids are between the ages of 12 and 20. At 21, they're automatically made members of the Magic Castle. You watch this one card. As I snap like that, it goes right inside the other two. Now, the people in the back, they probably didn't see that well, so I'll do that again. Watch the card. Ten of Cups in my mouth. And, uh, stick it like that. The one it goes right. The theoretical idea is that you want everyone in here at some point to think you're doing the trick or you th to think you're performing just for him alone. What's unique about this program is that adult magicians are on hand to guide the younger ones, giving them suggestions to help make their illusions more believable. Hold it up. Don't move. Please. There you go. Watch the first queen. The young magicians also give suggestions to their peers. There seemed like there were some inconsistencies. Like, oh, I, I had trouble making sense of why. Some, like, sometimes it would vanish, and then at the end it would change to the red card. These teens know and love their magic. The greats did this, you know. Houdini was doing this with the coins, and later on with the cards and his great escape acts. And it's just something about having everybody watch you, you know, and for you to be, do all these great tricks. This is a movie about the great magician known as Houdini. In the early 1900s, he performed some of the most innovative and death-defying illusions of his time. The chain broke. Escaping from the most impossible situations made him famous. He also helped to bring attention to the field of magic through his large stage performances. Well, there's three types of magic. There is the large stage magic where you see a beautiful lady floating in the air. And then there's what's called the close-up magic, which are card tricks. And those are the two basic ways that magicians separate the types of magic. I'd like to start off my first effect with a purple silk. I know. And a coin. Now watch the coin vanish like that. Austin Kotke is only 15 years old. But he's been performing close-up magic and card tricks since the age of six. Now watch. Change illusion to reality. Now we have two coins. I love it. It's like, it's such an inspiration because when you do something for someone, they freak out. Basically, you get 30 people who are watching you and you're doing an effect, they clap, you, it makes you feel great, and then at the end they tell you improvements and ideas, and it's, it's, it's awesome. One of the special perks for the teens is access to one of the largest magic libraries in the country, a privilege once reserved for members only. Here, they can learn the history of magic and illusionary tricks from a collection of rare books. And that library is full of secrets of great magicians that have been handed down from years to years to years to years. So it gives our kids that are in the program the ability to go in and learn new tricks and find out how tricks are done, or maybe adapt old tricks. Finally, before the junior workshop is over for the day, the teens observe their peers performing in some of the more advanced stage acts. 
please welcome Lisa De La Vega. Let's uh, it's very dangerous, but actually I do it because there are very few women in the magic field and there are no women in the magic field who do, I, had, I know of, that do torches, fire eating. Magic has been one of the best things to happen to Lisa. It's wonderful, you meet people, you're on stage, you get to really, you become animated and it builds a personality and a wonderful character and self-confidence and I think it's great. <laughs> If you want to find out more about magic, try reading this book called Magic for All Ages, 150 easy to perform tricks.